everyone. First of all, we would like to say thank you very much for supporting the project. We greatly appreciate that. And with that being said, let's just start with the installation tutorial. You will need to download the latest version of Smart Weathering, which comes in a zip file, and you will need to unzip it. Once you unzip it, you will see a zip file, named as add-on, and a folder which contains the assets. To install the add-on, go to the Blender Preferences in the add-on section and click on install. Locate the zip file named as add-on and click on install add-on. Now you just need to enable it and inside the add-on preferences you will see some info about us and an option to set the smart weathering preset directory. Click on the folder icon and locate a folder you may find convenient. Once you enable the add-on, you will find it in the shaded editor workspace under the Tinkify tab. There you will find sections like interact and some others that will pop up once you start interacting with Smart Weathering add-on. Now, in order to install the assets, go to the file path section, locate the folder name it as assets, click on add asset library. Now you can close the add-on preferences and in the assets workspace, you will have the option to show the smart weathering assets. You will be able to increase or decrease the size of the thumbnails, explore the different categories and also use the search bar to find the ones you need. These assets works as any other asset. You will need to just drag and drop it into your scene. In the modifier tab, you will see its options. And in the materials tab, you will see its materials. Not all of them work the same. And you can find more information about this in our documentation page. Well, these are the first steps to start using the smart weathering. And we really hope you enjoy using it in your projects. See you in the next video. Saludos.